day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today's project starts with this articulated snake created by Foxtronaut. There will be a link, of course, in the description. Make sure you give it a reaction and then hit copy and tinker to join in. All right, friends, so let's start by making the world huge. I'm going to tell you to click settings and then I'm going to change this to 1000 by 1000. So there's 1000 over there, backspace, 1000 over here. Click up here to make it go away. So now we've got a lot of room to play with this adorable little snake. I'm going to bring out a rectangle and since we went a thousand long, I'm going to tell you to click on it and change this number to a thousand. I'm going to tell you to make this distance 100 or something similar. And then for the thickness, I'm going to tell you to make it one. We want to take this snake and put it on top of this design. So I'm going to rotate. So I'm only grabbing the snake. I'm going to hit W for work plane. I'm going to hit D for drop. Now I can grab this and drag it back to this edge. So that's where it's going to start from. Put the work plane back on the ground. If it takes a couple tries, boom, just when you finally get it, you get it. So now select everything and we're going to raise it up. I'm going to raise it up with a cone and I'm going to tell you to raise it up 200 and press enter. At that point, look at it from a corner. You can use the corner tool. And I'm zooming way, way out because of how big this is. I want to be able to see the entire circle so I can pick my degrees because that's what's going to make this fun. Still can't see it. So I'm going to do Control Z and this time I'm going to hold Shift and I'm going to right click drag so the world is below me. Now I can see and pick my degrees. I'm going to pick 13. You can adjust and pick whatever degrees you want. So there's my 13 that I'm choosing. It does not fall below the earth. And then friends, this is what's so cool. I'm going to simply play with the snake. So if I hit play, I'm going to click on this item and I'm going to say, I don't want it to move. I made it static. I'm going to hide this for a second and I'm going to grab the entire snake and I'm going to change its material to steel. So it's a little bit heavy. And I'm going to pick a color. I want my steel to be a dark blue. Now, friends, when I do show all and we hit play, that snake slides down the ramp. Now, that's all right, but I want to have more fun with it. So I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to reset. I'm going to go back to my world where I can edit. And then I am going to add some parts. So let's hit W. And I'm just going to add some cylinders that it can bump into. When I set one down, I'm going to do Control D. I'm going to do Shift Nudge to move it somewhere else. And Control D. Then I can do Shift Nudge to move that where I want. And I can do Control D and Shift Nudge. I can group all these. I can also leave them ungrouped. Shift nudge to move this back. And now this time when I hit play, because I did not group them, I need to select all those. So I'm going to select and make it static. Let's do shift select. So I grabbed two of them and I'm going to make them static. And this time I'll show you an even smarter way. If we hide the red one, we could have grabbed them all and make them static. Then we can do show all. And all of a sudden now we have got our fun snake and it's got stuff to bump into. Will it fall off? Yes, it will. So let's back up one more time. I'm going to hit reset. You can see now that there are so many ways to make this course more fun. Check it out though. You can also change the material. If we make this ice and we make these rubber, let's hide this and grab these the smart way this time. We can now experiment with how different materials and I'm going to make them look like black rubber too, just because it's fun. I'm going to change my color of my snake so it shows up better. Let's grab it all and go to colors and custom. I'm going to make it a funky green. And if we bring back everything with a show all, 
we have now got an awesome little course where we can hit play and watch the fun results. Now, if you don't want it to fall off, check it out. We can go back in and we can real easily make this wider. You could add walls. You can do anything you want to make this course more fun. I'll just show you the walls real quick. If you just simply bring out a rectangle and stretch it down, you could group it or you could just make it so it did not move in an instant. I'm going to choose to group them by selecting these two and doing shift to select the other one and hit group. Let's return to the motion simulator one more time. Notice since I adjusted the part, I still have to go back and make it static. And now friends, when we hit play, boom, our course moves down. Snake does not fall off. He did flip over, but you can have all kinds of fun fiddling with that awesome snake created by Foxtronaut. As you play, if you're having fun, you can also hit pause, slide it back and watch the action, change materials, all kinds of fun. And if you like what you built, you can finally click over here on share, switch to the type of video that you want, including a brand new one called S&L 1280. I have not seen those. If you hold shift and right click, you can pan and get the exact footage you want. And when you hit create video, you will have a chunk of video showing off your amazing project. Yours may save automatically. Mine asks me where I want to save and then boom, you've got a tiny piece of footage that you can show your friends. Of course, everybody, there's a ton of room for you to have fun with this. Don't forget when you're finished, you can show off your project. Simply click back, click on properties, give it a cooler name. I'm going to put Epic in front of this. I will be adding the video tutorial here. Of course, this is the link to the project by Foxtronaut. Don't forget, please give them a reaction. Add some tags like I've got my Sim Lab and my Snake tag. Make it public. And then since I've got a tutorial, I always choose Attribution, No Derivatives. And then finally, hit Save Changes. Then the entire world will be able to check out your awesome project. And of course, they can find Foxtronaut and the Articulated Snake. How cool is that? Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this. And I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of cool snake runs you create. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.